Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to break a wall using liquid in real flow version 10 so let's get started okay so this is what we are going to do in real flow and um, I'm using version 10 but you should be able to follow along in previous versions so I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to go file new project and uh, yes we want to continue and then I'm just going to go new and just give it a name and I'm going to overwrite my current project yes and um, okay, we're going to start with some geometry. So I'm going to go to the geometry tab and then I'm going to click on cube and then press R on the keyboard to scale it out like this. This is going to be our floor. So I'm just going to scale it out nice and big, something like that. And then I'm going to click on cube again and this is going to be our wall. So I'm going to press W, move it up and then R on the keyboard to scale it out this way and also scale it up something like that. Okay, then W just to move it up so it's kind of sitting on top of our uh, floor. And then I'm just going to move the floor this way. So we have some space on that side. And uh, then we're going to create our gravity. So I'm going to go to demons and then I'm going to click on gravity. And then I'm just going to move it out of the way. Next, we're going to create our emitter. So I'm going to go to standard particles and then I'm going to click on circle move it this way move it up slightly and then i'm going to rotate it so i'm going to press e on the keyboard and just rotate it 90 degrees if you want to be precise you can just set it to minus 90 degrees here in the properties panel and uh, then i'm going to increase the size as well so i'm going to set the scale to 222 two, two. that's nice and big and let's move it back slightly and maybe up slightly something like that Okay, next we're going to fracture our wall. So I'm going to select the wall and then I'm going to go to object dynamics and then I'm going to click on the first fracture icon and here you can set the number of pieces that you want to break it into. I'm going to set mine to 50 and then I'm going to click on OK. And now you can go ahead and you can remove the original geometry. So I'm going to click on cube 2 here and I'm going to delete that. So that's only leaving us with the fractured pieces. All right, so next we want to set up some object dynamics. So I'm going to select the floor and then under object dynamics, I'm going to click on passive rigid body and then I'm going to select my fractured pieces and I'm going to set that to an active rigid body. Okay, next I'm going to select the emitter and I'm going to scroll down until I get to speed and currently the speed is set to 2 and I'm going to increase that to 20. All right, let's make sure that we're on the first frame and I'm going to click on simulate. So the simulation is finished and as you can see it's looking pretty cool but you can obviously go ahead and customize some of your liquid parameters as well as your geometry parameters but yeah it's really simple to break a wall using liquid in real flow and that's how easy it is to break a wall using liquid in real flow version 10 i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial click on that thumbs up if you did and also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new tutorials I upload new visual effects and motion graphics tutorials on a weekly basis. So yeah, click on the subscribe button to be notified. It really helps me a lot as well. So thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye.